I'm outside the Boston Dome in Tufnell Park where once every couple of months something rather extraordinary happens. Uh, a group of mentally and physically able men meet up to box and play chess at the same time. This is the British home of chess boxing. You put chess and boxing together in the same room and you get something really quite uh, special. It is extremely hard. So 2010 is really going to be the year of chess boxing. So, you haven't seen chess boxing before? Not before, no. <laughs> and, and what have you been told about it? Uh, from what I hear, it's just a sort of alternating rounds of chess and boxing. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just not sure if the, the chess is going to be as thrilling as the boxing for me, so, but, I, but I'm intrigued. Do you, do you play chess yourself? A bit of chess, yeah. And, and do you think that it's something that is quite similar to boxing in a way, or...? No. <laughs> Can you imagine like someone hitting you in the face and then having to sit down and get out of a check position? I mean, it's I can't imagine someone hitting me in the face and remaining conscious. <laughs> <laughs> so no one in the queue seems any the wiser than I am about what we're about to see, and they don't seem to know whether or not to take it seriously. Either way, it's pulled in a pretty impressive crowd. Pre-fight entertainment is pretty intriguing, but I'm keen to meet some of the men taking part in the main event. Rob Gillies is entering the chess boxing ring for the first time. How you feeling? Uh, nervous, excited. Yeah, uh, I've, I've, I've treated it at first as a bit of a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke. You know, something fun to try. Uh, but I've seemed to have kicked up my competitive streak, and I've gone into overdrive, and I've been training really hard, and I've, I've put a lot of effort into it. So all I'm hoping is to go out there and just sort of just do as do as well as I can. What does it feel like to concentrate on a chessboard after you've taken a smack in the face? It is extremely hard. You've got to, you know, playing chess anyway is a very cerebral game. And, and to do that when you're panting, just trying to get your breath back, um, is very difficult. And, 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 and it means that there's lots of rooms for mistakes. But where are you stronger, on the board or in the room? I think I'm going to give him a good few knocks on the board, because it's, it's, it's both. You can knock the person's confidence in the ring and then beat him on the board. So if I give him a good load of knocks and he comes back to the board and he can't think straight, he's going to make a mistake on the board. That's what I'm going to try and take advantage of. As I take my position next to the ring, I'm impressed with the professional manner in which Johnny's milking the crowd. The sport of boxing has been called show business with blood, which is understandable, but this time there's a chessboard in the middle of the ring. Both players begin with a round of speed chess, meaning they have to make their moves very quickly. Victory is achieved in three different ways, by checkmate, by your opponent running out of time, or by a knockout in the ring. I honestly didn't realise that chess could be this exciting. The crowd are really up for it and they watch everything unfold on a big screen as the commentator relays the moves. It could be all over. What's he going to do? He's top of it. He's touched it, he has to take it, he's won it for a piece. Look to see it. Well, that was bit so, so, when the round ends, the chess table is moved out of the ring and the two players get up and walk to their corners, put on their gloves and wait for the bell to ring. As the leather starts to fly, I realise that these two gentlemen really are laying into each other. And somehow, the physical drama of boxing is heightened by the fact that in a few minutes' time they'll have to sit down, steady themselves, and play one of the most intellectual games ever invented. The whole thing is really quite compelling, and in the crowd is one of the sport's founding fathers. 
We're actually in quite esteemed company tonight. Um, Yeppe founded chess boxing. The original idea was it would be a kind of art installation, right? And then it became something much more real. The concept is uh, uh, started as an art performance, basically. You know, like the fascination that uh, is it possible to play chess after a boxing round? Right. And all these themes were in the art performance and as a project, but we always knew we will do a real fight. In the end, Johnny makes good on his promise to dominate Rob both on the chessboard and in the boxing. And when Rob suddenly resigns during a chess round, it's all over. The chess boxing continues into the evening with two more bouts lapped up by everybody. And by midnight, the fighters are worn out and the crowd are loving it. Wow, um, we see some really impressive stuff in there, not just on the board, but with the gloves as well. Um, I wasn't expecting that, it's, it's a real eye-opener. Um, chess boxing is no joke. <laughs> 